Hi, everybody. I'm Mel Dore, Chicago Psychic Medium and Intuitive Consultant, the Aloha Shirt Psychic. And I've got the Comanche Psychic in the, psychic in the house, the only, the one and only Linda G. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you, my dear? I'm fine. Lovely Monday to be here with you. And I understand your um, your cooking show. Your guy, you guys. I, I, today I'm filming. I told everybody this weekend, but um, today I'm filming. Uh, but didn't you? You're going to come up with recipes from past presidents. Yeah. So today I'm finally doing the. I did it once and it, it didn't turn out. So I'm going to do the tostadas and pineapple upside down cake today. Ooh. But next week we're going to do recipes with dead presidents, their favorite White House recipes. And you can't be on a diet when you do that. I can cook it. <laughs> That's my problem. When I was on a diet, I cooked it. I couldn't eat it. I was like, Yeah, but I can cook it. I told my people so I'm going to do it. So I'm going to do it. And I can take one bite. I can actually do that. I know. You can send it to me. Okay. I love pineapple upside down cake. Oh, you! I'm doing an easy peasy recipe. Oh, that is so. I'm good. not making the dinette cake that goes over the top by hand, uh, by scratch. I'm I'm going to show you how to do a box cake, in and out. I got a question, technical question. Do you what kind of camera do you use to film? I don't know. Is Sterling it, help. Sterling is. I think he bought this for me. Can you just look at it and send it to me? Because I want to start filming my videos a little differently. Okay. I Sterling, just knows, Sterling knows all that stuff. Well, if you can ask He's him. He's a I genius know. with that kind of stuff. I'm so not. is my son, but Sterling's good with the camera. Do you use a tripod? For the cooking show, I do. Got it. But it's a camera, right? It's my iPhone. Oh, it's your iPhone. You do it on your iPhone. I do it on my iPhone. And don't forget, I got, I upgraded. So I've got the 13 now. Yeah, I'm going to get the 13. And you just put it on a tripod, right? I put it on a tripod and then I go through the recipe. But so I had myself, I had the thing so damn high, I was looking up like this. So now we know how Linda does her cooking show. Yay. Yeah. I'm getting a real computer lesson from Linda and her son and everybody here. <laughs> yeah, I, this is my computer, my PC. So I couldn't do the cooking show from this camera. Oh, here. Um, all right. So are we ready to get going? I got a lot of I'm questions. ready. Hit me up, my friend. All right, my dear. Um, oh, this is a good one. I can answer it. But Tia Pickerel asks, why are all the YouTuber initiatives emphasizing for entertainment purposes only? Uh, well, uh, it, because. YouTube likes it that way. I never used to say that, but apparently YouTube would prefer if you say that because people will complain about your material and you have to, uh, you have to say that so they don't hit you or get, take you off the air. Or put you in YouTube jail. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, let's take a look here. But it sounds weird, right? For entertainment purposes, like we're we're a gig, like we're uh, a circus act. Dun, 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 dun. Da 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 da. Anyway, the cooking yeah. show for entertainment purposes only. The oh, I don't think I have to do entertainment purposes for the cooking show. Tea with Linda and Mel. <laughs> my problem is I got to shut up because when I start talking about myself and my life story, I put people to sleep and they, they, they didn't get to see what the hell I made. <laughs> people are saying they love our humor oh, humor. Oh, humor 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 okay does antonio brown have brain damage is that the reason why he's so crazy is that football player that does kind of weird stuff i don't know who he is um i'm but not you a can answer that one I'm, I'm not a doctor but i think he's he's really young but i probably think his erratic behavior is something called chronic traumatic encephalopathy so i'm getting hit in the head a lot a lot of uh, boxers and sports figures get it. So that's my take on it anyway. My guide's God take bless him. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. C. Torino, why is DeJoy still hanging on to his post? Oh. <laughs> I still see him gone, though. I still see him going, but our time, you know, that's why as psychics, we should never guarantee a time frame. No. Mm -hmm. You just can't do it. Two more people from Biden's realm are coming on there, but they haven't been put in yet because the Republicans are taking their sweet ass time. Right. 
Um, so two involved. more are coming in, but also, I don't know if it's because he's voted out or he's really in some trouble. He's got some legal troubles coming up. I see legal papers all around the joy. I always have. My guides yeah. have told me that and that hasn't changed. So maybe Biden just doesn't want to make it look too political. I don't understand, but can Biden fire him? I think he can, can he? No, he cannot. Oh, he can't. He cannot know. fire him. Uh, so he has to be voted out by other commissioners. I gotcha. But Trump put him in, right? Are you kidding? If Biden could have fired him, he would have done it in a New York minute. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, remember when he got rid of Kelly? By the way, Kelly has a new book out. Be sure to run to the store to get it. <laughs> I'll be running to the store, passing the book, getting myself some chocolate ice cream. <laughs> but uh, 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 Kelly, and he got rid of uh, oh the first guy who said it was the biggest crowd ever. Melissa McCartney did the best skit on Saturday Night Live with him. Anyway, they said, we were put here to serve the pleasure of the president. Yeah, and Biden is the president. And guess what? He doesn't want you. Wow. <laughs> I see the joy gone. I still see him. Gone. Me too, you guys. I, I know, you know, sometimes we just don't know, but I see it. And I still see legal papers all around him. Like I just said, I see legal problems for DeJoy. You know, he's a little tiny guy. I could pick him up and toss him, man. Could you? Do you think you yeah, could? Yeah, but I wouldn't. I, would, I wouldn't dare. You put him in an envelope and mail him somewhere? I don't know. He might have that little Na Na Napoleon complex, you know. <laughs> the hand here. If I were king of the forest. <laughs> that is my favorite movie of all time, The Wizard. That is my, somebody wrote on Twitter, what was the movie that took your breath away. The first movie you ever saw. It was. And I, it was Wizard of Oz when I was a little girl. I was just overwhelmed. When I ice skated, we did the Wizard of Oz on ice. We wrote it and I was, I did, I was the voice of three characters, but my favorite was the Wicked Witch of the West. So oh. I'll, I'll get you my pretty, you and your little dog too. Fire. Your little dog too. Yep. Yep. That was good. And then Hamilton was the one who played the witch. She was on. She was amazing. She, she was a wonderful woman. That whole thing was great. Yeah. Uh, if I only had a brain I like that. <laughs> anyway, okay. Here is Rosa Raspaldo de Puerto Rico from Puerto Rico. She says, my question is, will the strong Democratic Val Demings from Florida do well in her Senate run? Val Demings? Yep. Yeah, she's going to win. I see a win there too. I saw a win. I've been seeing a win. Yay. As we get closer, ask us again. Because sometimes, remember, I saw Beto winning. And then that, right as we were coming up to it, my guy said, oh, he's not going to win. And I had to tell everybody he's not going to win. But sometimes what can happen with clear cognizance, we know, we don't know how we know or what we know, we just know. But I keep seeing a win for Beto as well. But it didn't okay. necessarily have to be that race. Oh, I see. Because basically they have something to do. Correct. Correct. Okay. But at some point I see a big win for him. And if it's not governor of Texas, then it would be Senate because I see a big win. But I feel okay. a win for her too. Okay. June Schlock, will the Doomsday Glacier fall off this year? I don't see that. I don't even know what that is. A big, huge glacier just finally melted. Yeah, but I think they're talking about a great big one. I don't know. I know I, I've got to read. I don't it. see it right now, but listen, we are coming into some heavy duty stuff. Ooh, some major foul weather. I know, but I, you know, it could, I can see it, but it could be thirty years from now. So, um, yeah, I agree. Well, I don't think we've tipped the scale too far on climate change, but we've got to do something, otherwise we can't. Right. Okay. People want to know about the next Supreme Court Justice. Cindy Sullivan asked, will it be Anita Hill? But I no. don't think so. <laughs> Even if they offered it to her, I see her saying no. No, she wouldn't take it. She's like 65 right now. Um, I, I've got a feeling it'll be Michelle Childs. Is she the North Carolina one? Yes. Yeah. Uh, guess who just came out and said they like her? Lindsey Lindsay, Graham. Lindsey Graham. <laughs> Like we care. He's such a chameleon. I was watching it on The View this morning. I'm like, you know, and Ann Navarro's going on about him, how, you know, he's 
being sincere. I'm like, and then somebody else on the show, I forgot who it was that wrong. He's, he's wait. Anne Navarro was saying Lindsey Graham is sincere about this. Yeah. Because she said oh. she toured with him and da, 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 da. And, you know, and then somebody else on the panel said, wrong. You know, he's an opportunist. He's going to be a chameleon. Yeah. But, you know, my guide showed me while we're on this. Mark side. his words. If Donald Trump becomes president, it is the end of the Republican Party. Oh, that's true. Mark his words. And then that's what does he do? If Donald Trump comes to a full stop, his head goes all the way up his ass. You got that right. Mm -hmm. He's got brown on his nose. <laughs> um. So while we're on that subject, yes, I was when I was thinking about Michelle Childs, my guide showed me another two Supreme Court justices relatively soon. So that means two would have to leave the court or Biden just puts more on. I don't know where. Yeah. But I saw um, another male of color and another Hispanic uh, female. Wow. I didn't get who they are, but I definitely feel, I can't tell you, I'll tell you, it'll be a whole different makeup coming up. It will be. I okay. keep seeing Thomas having to go, either drops out or gets kicked out. I don't know what the heck. But I keep seeing, because the thing coming down with his wife and how he should have recused himself, albeit he didn't do anything illegal, my guy showed me there's a lot of stuff coming out about him. And yeah, but see, it, based on that alone, he wouldn't step down. No, 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 no. There's He's more. He's a stubborn, make me, make me. So make me. I think his health could end up suffering because of all this stuff. I see him gone. Um, yeah. I got my doubts about Kavanaugh. <laughs> yeah, Kavanaugh feels like it's, you know, oh yeah, they're, they're not happy about who we're picking for the justice because it's not going through the Federalist Society. Correct. <laughs> Jesus. Um, but I, is when I was concentrating on Michelle Child, Childs, my guy showed me that. I was like, whoa, another Hispanic. Okay. I think Sterling picks that up too. Oh, I, okay. Been very adamant, and so have I, that it's going to be a whole different makeup. It's going to be a whole different makeup. Makeup. Uh, oh, okay. Go ahead. Makeup. Uh, and, oh, uh, we'll talk about Trump in a second. Carol Lee, is Kristen Cinema receiving dark money? If so, will she be indicted? Absolutely, she's receiving. No, I don't see her indicted. I don't see her indicted, but I don't see But I know she's indicted. receiving monies. I don't see her winning again on the Democratic Party unless she no. And I think she's working on behalf of the people. Oh, she is. Totally. My guides told me absolutely yes. Big red neon. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but she'll pick for our new um, justice. So will, uh, so will, uh, oh, cinema put a whole list of what's required that they have to be upstanding. They have to be this and that. I thought, excuse me, that's not... You mean, in other words, they have to be totally opposite of you. How's he, right? How's that for hypocrisy there? Jeez. Oh, my God. I don't see them messing with the justice. I really don't. Well, like somebody on the news said, okay, what Democrat is not going to vote for a Black woman to be, for the first time in history, to be able to become a justice? And what Republican yes. wouldn't either, if they're smart. There will be a couple of Republicans that vote yes. I, th I think so, too. I'm thinking at least four or five, maybe. Yeah, I do see it. And like you, Lindsey Graham will probably vote yes. Well, Republicans are, are starting to talk against Trump because when Trump was at that rally in Texas recently. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And he said that, what was it? Um, that if he's elected, I forgot how he said it, but yeah. the, the insurrectionists need to be pardoned and they're, that they're being treated unfairly. <laughs> And then he was very careful about his choice of words uh, because think he said there will be protest. He called on people to protest. He didn't call on them to riot or overturn anything. Uh -huh. so it's, it's their constitutional right to protest, but you gotta be careful if you're inciting people to riot. And that's exactly right. what he was trying to do. That's what he was trying to do. Uh, but you know what? That rally showed that he was afraid because when he's afraid, he diverts, he deceives, and he plays on people's xenophobia and emotion to switch the focus of the narrative. He said, if I am indicted, I'm calling on protest. So obviously, 
he's 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 my guides tell me he's really afraid is he gonna get in trouble though for trying to cause uh all this drama they just keep letting him get away with it well because it's his freedom of speech i mean i can say linda let's go out and protest and I, if 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 trump wins let's go protest you can't lock me up for that because one is my freedom of speech and two i have a right to peaceful assembly but if tables turn and Trump had won and the Biden people were protesting, oh my he God, had, he, he locked us up and threw away the key. He would have had the military out there. Yeah. Just like he did. Remember? Yeah. The Black Lives Matter thing. And he wanted the military to shoot. Exactly. And held the Bible upside down. <laughs> what's your favorite, sir? Uh, what's your favorite verse from the Bible? Well, you know, it's kind of personal. Right. Oh, is that a I verse? Mean, in other words, you have no idea, right? First Donald 16. It's kind Give of us a, a, a verse of your favorite book by Hitler. Oh, he'd probably know that. Oh, he, he, he had a copy of Mein Kampf. Yeah, by, by his bedside. And he's pulling the same things that Hitler pulled to take power. Yeah. But uh, the thing is, Hitler was a lot more smart. coy and smart. <laughs> Right. Trump is an idiot and he talked too much. Right. Even Barr went in there and told him, sir, you're not going to win because you're just too busy yapping with your mouth. What's going to get Trump indicted as well as the, is, and I see indictments both in Georgia, New York, um, and federal as well. What's going to get him indicted, they'll have the evidence. I think, I think the attorney general is working on that, but also his mouth. He tells on himself. He I mean, just got done at announcing uh, that he wanted uh, Pence to change out the to change out the voting. He wanted all that. He just exactly. confessed in writing. See, well, he's a, he's a, what do you call a putz? <laughs> he's a putz, all right. Well, the capital. He's, a putz. he's just so stupid. Well, and he, the thing is, none of them, all those people around him, can't get him to shut up. He doesn't listen, and that's going to be his, that's going to be his undoing. Not with his base, but I mean, it's you know the minority. Is, America's going to not let the minority tell the rest of us what to do. That's exactly right. What's going to there you go. But you know, Trump pretty much called for a civil war if he's indicted. He didn't say it, but if you read between the lines, that's what he was. Yeah. And that's what people are afraid of. But you know, if he he once again starts yelling for a, a war, then he he definitely. I never saw him going to slammer, but he will be locked up at least until he shuts up. Well, I'm still nervous about his health. Yeah. Um, but I, I always saw him indicted. Always, never saw him in jail, but I see him indicted. I've always seen him indicted. Okay, Deb Vance, will Tucker Carlson be removed from Fox News? Well, when Murdoch dies, right. I see a whole different. I see them going right through Fox News and changing the whole makeup to make it more livable. More honest. <laughs> uh, I think they'll do it slowly, but but if I look at it now, once, once Murdoch passes, if I look at it then, and then if I look at it three or four years from there, it'll be a whole yeah. different animal for all the different. better. I said this six, seven years ago, it's going to be totally different. Seriously. And let me tell you, um, you know, he's up there talking to this guy saying, well, why would I go for the Ukraine? Why don't I stand for Russia? They have this, they have that, they have a good army, they have blah, blah. And he looked at Tucker Carlson, and he said, because he's an imperialist? The Ukraine is a democracy? Like, this guy doesn't get the difference. And you notice how he always looks like he's taking a dump in his seat. I know. He's always got the... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's weird. He always. <laughs> I love your expression. Your facial expressions are just, that's funny. Uh, yeah, we'll take some toilet paper to Fox. And give it to yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Hi, Mel, Linda, and Jack, and Lulu, and Lucky. Prince Charming's mom is picture of dog. Oh, so cute. Um, why is Christopher Ray still director of the FBI? I know. Especially after we found out that they did. Well, let me tell you something. They did nothing with the people calling in to, with tips to um, Kavanaugh. Right. 
They were supposed to investigate, but they were told not to. I think they were told, who was the attorney general at the time? It wasn't Bill Barr. Barr, Barr was when Kavanaugh got in. Was it Barr? I don't I'm remember. I'm pretty sure it was Barr. But I think they were told to back off. Well, it doesn't matter who it was. They both worked for Trump. Exactly. Exactly. But what I see is, you remember how he went to uh, Biden, or uh, Ray did, asking to keep his position? Right. Something was discussed there. It could even be that Chris Ray is letting somebody inside, maybe um, our Garland, know who the Trumpsters are, who's the people you can and cannot trust. And trust me, the only reason I wasn't able to do this was because I had the squeeze on my head by the attorney general. I'm sure he made a deal behind closed doors. Something, there was some sort of deal made. And spoke what he knew, all right? Um, because why would they keep him knowing that he was such a putz? But it's funny though, I still see another director of the FBI coming. Mm -hmm. It's about a year away. Um, I saw the number 13, so that'd be like 13 months, you're right. Um, yeah, I see somebody else. So I feel sorry for the person taking the job because, oh. they, ugh. okay, people are wondering when we're going to start seeing indictments, uh, you know, with the January 6th thing and all that. And, well, when are we going to have our live, our live presentation where we're going to have popcorn and everything? I, yeah, you'll have to do a cooking show, a tailgate party, right? A tailgate party. When are we going to have our live show? I think I the, can't I, wait that where they well, according to um, Liz Cheney, they want it in prime time. They don't want it on MSNBC. They want it on prime time. I think all, a lot of the networks will carry it. Oh heck yeah! It's going to be blockbuster. Everybody but Fox. I remember when Nixon that whole thing was going on. I would come home from college and my mother would be glued to the TV set watching those. Oh my TV. mom too. I didn't pay any attention. I wasn't interested. I didn't either, but I was too young. But you know what? But, my but mom that's hated exactly was, that's exactly what's going to happen this time people are going to be like oh my god my mom hated nixon from the time he said i can't even afford to buy my wife a nice coat oh, she god. knew he was so full of crap my mom used to always say boy oh boy <laughs> <laughs> and but little did you realize when she said boy oh boy she was cursing you a it's plea like, on like both y'all houses it's like bless your heart bless your heart yeah <laughs> you know what's going to happen i was i've been um studying about the i love lucy so it's really good you got to see the movie being the ricardos it's really good i had a hard time i couldn't get through it i'll try yeah. it again try it again it's just uh javier bardem i like him i like him nicole kidman but anyway and i like nicole kidman too but i didn't like lucille ball right because but, I know how how she really got kind of cruel, but you know she got so popular that I think it was hard for her. You know, but she could have been nice about telling people not to talk to her. Well, I mean, I think what happened with her was is you know the that Lucy Ricardo was total opposite than Lucille Ball. It yeah, was, that's true. But you know, it, it I was, used to watch the black and white beginning ones, you know, reruns when I was a kid. Oh yeah. But I could never take the Lucille show. Never take. No, I, I could never watch it. It wasn't my cup of tea. I didn't like that. But here's here's what I'm getting at. Um, they said when Lucille, when the Lucy show, not the Lucy show, I Love Lucy first premiered on Monday nights, TV sales skyrocketed, businesses closed at nine o'clock at night on Monday, so everybody could go see watch I Love Lucy. Crime was like down. Right? And that's what it's going to be like, I think, when these hearings hit prime time. People are going to go home early. <laughs> People are going to be glued around the TV set. It's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. Linda, there's so much coming out on this. You've said it. I've said it. So there we go. Yes. You know, um, on our street, my dad was the first one to buy a color TV. And I remember when it was because it was the monkeys was out at that time. So it was what, 68, 69. And all the girls, all the girlfriends would come over. I think the monkeys was on Monday nights. I don't remember what night, but I remember. Anyway, but it was a huge 730. Yep. And we would all gather around to watch the monkeys. It was a huge. By the way, it was all Desi Lou Productions. That was the studio yeah. that they owned. Yeah. Uh, um, 
I remember my aunt, we, my grandmother lived here. My aunt lived next door. She had plumbing. My grandmother didn't. And we lived with my grandmother for a while. And I would, and my uncle brought home a little color television and we'd go over there and watch Batman. And I bet it was cool. Oh, it was really neat just to lay there and watch it. <laughs> I remember the very first time I got to see a color TV. My dad visited a, a cousin or somebody in your Linda, you, Linda something. I remember the name of the town started with Linda. And um, they had a, a color TV, but they had one of those clocks with a little girl on the swing. Do you remember those clocks? Yes, I do. <laughs> She'd swing back and forth. Yeah. I have six of those. None of them work. I buy them on eBay and they last for a couple of days and then they go, they go still. I remember Bonanza was the first color TV show. Oh, was it really? Yeah, but the color wasn't so hot. Anyway. The monkeys was color. Yep, they were color. Hey, when I used to go to the VA with, with my dad with all the sick, my dad was in the place where all the older veterans or crippled veterans and uh, they had a main TV room and uh all those guys, all those wheelchairs, all watching Bonanza. Oh, yeah. That was the thing. I got back into Bonanza after that. <laughs> um, okay. Ginger Amodi, Amode, she's wondering about Pennsylvania governor race. Will it stay Democratic or go Republican? Who's running? I don't know, but I think I still feel Democrat with Pennsylvania. I just heard, I go with the first thing I hear and I heard Democrat. That's what I heard, yeah. Oh, we we need the names when we're getting closer to November. We need, I need the names. Okay. I type them out and then I sit and go bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom. And then take a closer look at it, yeah. And then um, then that's where the, they told me I had a 90% correct rate. Okay, here's another one. Uh, Lisa Anthony, will Andy Parker, Republican, win his congressional bid in the 5th District, Virginia against Bob Good, Republican? His journalist daughter was slain on air uh, during a broadcast six years ago. All what? Right. All right. I remember seeing that, actually. Why uh, was she slain? I, I think she was shot. Somebody just started shooting. If, that, if that's the one I'm thinking of. Uh, but she wants to know if Andy Parker, will Andy Parker Republican win his congressional bid in the fifth district against Bob Good Republican? I'm Which not, one's a Trumpster Republican, Bob Good? I don't know. I don't know. You know, I'll have to look it up and then we- you We'll know, have to look it up. Let's table this one, we'll come back to it. Okay. Okay. Uh, Donna Hensley, will NATO come together and work together to stop Russian aggression? Yeah, they're all meeting as we speak. Yep. Yeah, they already are. Yeah. Um, you know, people are asking, will Putin invade Ukraine? If he does, he's going to not be pretty. <laughs> um, because I'm seeing all of NATO and European Union uh, going into Ukraine to push him back if he invades. I don't see him invading. You know, they just made a statement that, oh, they've done their trial thing and some of the Russian soldiers are going back. Like they were doing some sort of, uh, you know, just a practice. Well, my guides tell me that the Russian people don't want war either. They don't want war. And let me tell you what, those, remember I told you the ones that would really get mad at him, at Putin, would be the oligarchs because these sanctions that they're all working on right now will uh, really affect the oligarchs. Absolutely. And they're like, oh, hell no. No, they're not going to want to lose their money or anything like that. No. Putin's gaining a lot of disfavor. Um, but, you know, the problem is, is he's bullying everybody. Like, well, I don't want them to join NATO. Well, he doesn't get to interfere in their oh, government. He thinks he does, though. So. Yeah, well. He thinks he does. He really thinks he, you know, he's a little sharp one like to joy. I could pick him up and throw him. <laughs> I mean, what a bully, right? He kills people running against him. Exactly. And then sits there, lies straight deadpan in your face. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, you had him assassinated. Right. Um, Sterling and I talked about Navani because I had that vision of Navani getting out of jail and waving, but he didn't look so good. Sterling said, yeah, he, it, uh, Putin will get him out of there before he dies. He's afraid of being blamed for his death. 
I see him out. And you know what I think is going to be somebody like him that is going to lead something to get Putin out of office. Uh, just like when I think it was Lenin, Lenin was exiled to France from Russia. And Lenin spearheaded a revolution and he wasn't even in Russia. He would, he did it from France. And I, and I think that's, ex and then he went back to Russia. And I think that's exactly what's going to happen with Putin. I don't know if it's Navani or our group of people are going to spearhead getting him out, getting him taken out of office. That's what I see. Well, the ones I see somebody getting him out or, or getting rid of him, it seems to be more the oligarchs. That could be, it could so. be. But I still see him out. Yep. Okay. Lois, this is good. What do you pick up regarding RFK Jr. and his anti-vax rants? Does he really believe what he says or is something else going on? Like, is he mentally ill? What? Uh, Robert Fitzgerald Kennedy Jr. Oh, God, it's such a shame. Um, He's been anti-vax even before this. Right. It was totally against children getting their their measles, mumps, and rubella. You know, he's he's. Yeah, but he's a little off the deep end. He's uh, and I bought his book about his cousin and believed him, and now I threw the book out because I know I can't believe him. He he's a little bit delusional. I think I think there's something wrong with him. I yeah, really and you know the rest of the family knows too. They love him, but they know he's not a full quid. They're probably just telling him to shut his mouth. Right. <laughs> Hey, did you see all the, the hoopla with uh, Johnson this morning, Boris Johnson? No. I didn't. Boris Johnson was holding his Johnson, let me tell you something. <laughs> oh, I they were up there calling him this and that, and, you know, he needs to da-da-da, and uh, he's like, Boris, it's like, we understand what happened, and now we're going to make sure we have all these things, and the other guy was saying, and we can't believe him, and he was booed mostly when when Boris Johnson was trying to talk, they were booing him. Well, I really point, felt like he from back when he won, I felt like he was going to have to leave. Well, my guide show me him out of office from the get go. Yes. And so uh, I see him gone and I don't even, yeah. I don't know when his term is up, but I don't even know if he'll serve. It's it. just that I just could see every, people are just done with him. It's just too much nonsense. So they just need to put someone in there so they can do go about their business because people are too mad at them right now. That's what we need. And let me tell you about the English. Oh, by the way, our Irish men, the Minzes that are going to go out and start fishing in spite of what Russia, that Russia is not going to mess with them. <laughs> they touch one hair on anybody in, in those boats out there and are from Ireland. It's going to be really bad for them. Oh, it's going to be horrible. It would be horrible. They know. Russia knows, don't do anything, don't do anything. They may even try to throw something up away from them. But that these guys, that oh, and listen, I could see all of them mooning the ships, <laughs> holding their brew and not dropping a drip. You know what I'm saying? Just hey, like in the Big Lebowski, when they were grabbing him and throwing him in the car, he said, hold on, hold on, drink going here. All I can say is Aaron Gobra. <laughs> oh, my God. But that's what I was feeling about the UK, because I feel like they're just this Boris thing and all this. Uh, well, we have rights and you don't. Oh, I know. It's just really going to be bad. And they, they're, they're not fond of Prince, uh, Prince Charles either. No. And especially the Rottweiler. <laughs> no, because of you know? Didn't, didn't, didn't Boris Johnson come up with some kind of anti-mask? People don't have to wear a mask anymore or do this or do that. Is that true? I don't know. I don't remember. I, don't I know. know he got COVID pretty bad. Too bad. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I wish him harm, but I see him gone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Anna Hislop. Why is the DOJ not prosecuting anyone? Beyond frustrated. What's going on? Have I missed? They are. They are. <laughs> they are. I, I always see uh, Garland sitting there with a big piles of files around him. And remember, Garland went in there post-Trump. And everybody took their time allowing Biden to have somebody in there. Right. So Garland's just trying to make room so he can do something. Absolutely. And he told, he told the Congress and everybody, I need more money. I need money to go against these people trying to create 
uh, people not being able to vote. We need uh, people who are threatening our poll workers. We need more. So uh, right now they're hiring, they're sorting things out, but he's on stuff, trust me. I think if he grew eight arms, put a broomstick up his rear end and got on roller skates, he could sweep the floor at the same time because he's got so much going on. He's got so much. I wouldn't want that job for all the ugh, poor guy, for all the gold in Fort Knox if there's any left. I don't but you don't see him off golfing anywhere, do you? No, at all, nothing. I mean, I think he's very methodical and slow and methodical. He's like my husband. If you want something done and you want it done correctly, you call my husband because he dots all the I's, crosses all the T's, all the commas are in place. I mean he's slow but he but he does a phenomenal job that's my sister's like that too right my and sister so. and uh my son J uh, jacob they're very methodical me, me and me. you well the store's open at midnight and i was thinking maybe <laughs> i asked him once to cut the green peppers and i said you know they don't have to be uh, <laughs> was the exact size i said give me a regular knife <laughs> just throw it. Well, they won't cook evenly. I said, for this, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, yeah. I think that's Merrick Garland. He's just... He's very methodical. Very. And he don't like being pressed, by the way. No, he doesn't. You know, he not. may be quiet, but he can get irritated. Oh, he doesn't like being in the public eye at all. No, no. no, no he no. probably would have been better off as a justice. Well, I don't know. You know, I'd rather have somebody who's thorough and can, you know, he's just not going to throw in whatever sticks, you know, he's, he's going to make sure that he's got cases and he's not bowing to, to the public. I mean, he's not right. bowing down to public pressure. He's like, this is my job. I think he would have made a great justice. Yes. Oh, Greg. And by the way, everybody, I do not see Anita Hill or Michelle Obama. Not at all. Even if they offered it to Michelle and Anita, I see them saying no. No. Mm -mm. They're just not going to go there. Anita's already too far along in age, and she would like somebody in there that's younger. Right. And uh, Michelle Obama, no, you can't have a president's wife be, it's just, it's, she's, I mean, she'd probably be really good at it. But I don't think Michelle Obama wants it anyway. I don't think she wants it at all. She thinks it's kind of funny they're talking about this. She's already coming out about the midterms. Good. I mean, she's really good with campaigning. She's good human rights advocate. Good. I think she should run for political office, but she won't. She won't. Once you'll notice that about presidents that and their wives, they they don't tend to run for anything else. But for Trump, <laughs> she would have been good as a president too. She'd have been amazing. They say she was the president. <laughs> I don't know about that. But, <laughs> oh, but Trump, if he could have stayed in office, not only we'd probably never have voting again, but his children would have taken over after he died. Oh, I'm sure. Absolutely. Um, okay. This is a good one. It's long, but it's good. Cynthia Johnson, a woman filed suit in California several years ago against him who shall not be named, saying she was raped by him at an Epstein party when she was 13. The yeah. Was thrown out on a technicality, wrong jurisdiction, but refiled, I believe, in New York. She withdrew suit due to death threats. Will this ever make major headlines and will she ever talk publicly to the general? So the general. Oh, baby. No, no. I don't think so. But I'll tell you what I do see that woman he attacked in the dressing room, that they got his uh, sperm on the dress. That oh, yeah. will go through. That'll go through. Absolutely. And well, but let me tell you, I just got a psychic flash, you guys. You heard it here first. Uh, we need the big letters on the bottom. Um, and don't you hate it when those news say breaking news and you're like, what, what? And it's some news you already heard that morning. I'm so sick of that. You well, know, I'm, I'm not paying attention. News from Linda. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so anyway, breaking news with Linda. I just saw something go wrong with uh, Donnie Jr. And I see all the press running about like he's in the hospital. Wow. I don't know if, you know, he's on drugs and it finally catches up to him. He's not going to die, but I see that there's something going on with him. I just saw it. So I'm just going to let you guys know. I just saw that. 
I wished I'd seen it with uh, Don Sr., but I see Don Jr. having some issue. He's like overwhelmed with anxiety about all this. He knows they're in trouble. He's making these stupid statements high as a kite. Did you see that? Oh, my God. Really, his eyes were all swelled up. You know what? And he's talking like he's his nose is a packed. I heard overdose or something. They'll say, yeah, I feel like something's getting ready to happen. I, that never flashed to me before, but I'm saying it here. Uh, breaking news with Linda G on Mel show. You heard it here. Because I just see breaking news on the TV, too, and all these news reporters trying to find out. But I'm not seeing him uh, dying, but I see that he's uh, he really has to step out of the limelight. I think he may be cardiac arrhythmia or something. I mean, he, when or he a stroke talks, or something. He's, he's yeah. Like drunk. It's, yeah. Or like he's on something. But um, he's overdoing it because he's so overwhelmed with karma catching up with him. Oh, he's totally stressed. And he and his sister are going to, when she was invited to uh, the, to talk to the January 6th commission, they're going to have to subpoena her. But um, yeah, the pressure they're under is incredible. Well, but listen, I, she will turn her, she will throw her dad under the bus for the sake of her kids. Oh, she, she will won't. not go to jail. That's what oh, I heard. She won't. She would flip. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. And also remember, she begged her dad to call the guard to stop all this. Yes, she did. She and did. he wouldn't listen to her. And, and, and so I think she knows her dad is just so over ego driven. He, it's okay that all those people die. He don't care. I know he didn't care. He doesn't care about that. It's just about him keeping power. He doesn't care about his constituents. He doesn't care about the American people. He doesn't care about, he doesn't care about the Bible. He doesn't care about God. What's oh, did you hear Melania was putting her stuff up for sale and didn't even get the amount she was asking for in order to bid? <laughs> Nobody thought her stuff was worth that. How's that for karma? Oh, she's got some bad karma coming too. Because everybody thought she was nice and that she was a victim of Donald. Wrong. Mm -hmm. My guide show me her conniving and manipulative and she married Donald. Not because of his looks, because... Because there are two peas in a pod. That's correct. That's absolutely and you know that that Stephanie Grissom or whatever her name is, she contacted Melania during the insurrection and said, do you want to make a statement like that, that you would hope everybody remains peaceful and that, you know, the, the way she worded it, you know, those political people like, let's, you know, let's all get along, that kind of thing. Do you want to make some sort of a statement? And her only word back was no. Remember when she did that speech on bullying or that speech and it was it she stole it. It was plagiarized from Michelle Obama. She didn't steal it. Let me tell you what happened. It's in that girl's book, the one that used to be her assistant. Ivanka couldn't stand her and Ivanka watched her like a hawk and Ivanka tried to get nice with this other girl that has since turned to give her information on the, her stepmother. Oh, she, her and her people, Ivanka's people gave her a plagiarized speech. She, she didn't know it. She had no clue that it was Michelle Obama. She don't ever watch Michelle Obama. She went up there and did this spiel and then found out later that it was word for word. And they were all laughing. They thought it was hysterical. And of course, the press went crazy. And Tr Donald really never did any, anything about it. He didn't care because he's got no. no boundaries. He didn't. Care. He doesn't care about her. He, she's a possession to him. He doesn't care about his kids. They're possessions. He's a sociopath. Well, he, he got care. upset that she wasn't on, on the front of Vogue and all those magazines. But that's about his ego. Yeah. He's a sociopath. Okay. Yeah. So uh, book bans, people. Okay. So Pam at C8K asks, what is the what is public education future, especially in some oh, of Oh, don't worry. These people are nothing burgers. Well, you know, the book bans going on in the Southern states, it's like, you know, Hitler did that. And I'll yeah. tell you the story. When Gary and I were in the Czech Republic, uh, when it was Czechoslovakia and it was yeah. communist, one of our guides was telling us the story that she was a teacher and they had books that were banned. And she would have the kids come to her house and I think it was Jane Eyre or the Scarlet Letter or something. And she would like let the kids read the books because it was literature. 
That's yeah. what she thought. And she got called in because one of these kids' father was a part of the Communist Party. And he told her, if you continue to do this, you will go to jail. So right. she was threatened with jail. Right. Uh, but just like they said on Twitter today, people don't seem to realize that there is something called the internet. <laughs> thank you. You can read it anywhere. Thank you. In fact, the sales of some of these books they they banned to kill a mockingbird the sale of some of these books are in the top one now people are buying them left and right i love this statement you guys by oscar wilde the books that the world calls immoral are books that show the world its own shame that's true you know when i was in high school we had to read to kill a mockingbird and the yeah. book I love to read, but that book was amazing. I couldn't put it down. And then I saw the movie, which was even better. Even How better. could they ban that? That's crazy. Oh, yeah. And you know the other book that I even, my son had to read it uh, by Mark Twain. What was it? Huckleberry Finn or one of those. Huck Finn, yeah. And they had a lot of slang language. And I found it hard to read because I forgot about how disrespectful and how they treated. But that's how it was in those days. Well, you have to, excuse it, but still, that's how it was in those days. Oh, I think it was terrible. But you have to look at the zeitgeist. That in German, that means the spirit of the time when it was written. You know, um, but I, to, to ban to kill a mockingbird, I'm like, well, it's not going to work because you know what? What's going to happen? You're right. It's called the internet, cell phone. But parents will start saying, okay, at least those that want their kids to get a rounded education, we will do you. We will have you taught virtually <laughs> right like online or like we're doing and virtual yeah. classes so that's going to get bigger and bigger but you can't ban people's right to speech so if they ever went to the supreme court they would throw that out oh, i hope well, maybe not this court but <laughs> yeah no they will okay here's a good one christian martinez hi christian el salvador president nayabi bukele Will he make good on improving conditions inside his country and improve relations with Biden? I guess he's from El Salvador. I see him doing it. You know, it's so yeah. hard for these people because everybody gets paid under the table. Well, I think he's going to be a real humanist and I think he's going to help the people there a lot. That's what I pick up. Yeah, I think um, he's going to do good. Okay. All righty. Hold on. Hold on. Just give me a second. Uh, oh, this is a good one. Colleen Wood, is Russia cutting underwater communications between the U.S. and Europe in Ireland? <laughs> no. No, but I wouldn't put it past them. I wouldn't put it past them either, and I thought so, but Sterling read on this yesterday. The cable that was cut, there was actually two cables, so the other one was still working. So if it was really them trying to cut off all communication, they would have cut both cables. Well, they that don't made have, total sense to me. Well, they don't have to cut a cable. All they have to do is just hijack cybersecurity. And there, there you, you go. go. So. I, fortunately, uh, uh, it made total sense when Sterling said no yesterday. I think it was accidental is what I'm thinking. Yeah. All right. Uh, yard worky. When will inflation begin to calm down and is inflation higher in part because of pressure by some politicians to keep oil prices higher in Saudi Arabia and other oil producing countries? That's a really good question. That's a good, that feels, yes. That feels like it. But I do see it going down. I see it going down by the end of February. And one of the reasons is that the virus is coming out. Uh, exactly. So and once the virus starts British. going, it's business as usual. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I see the supply chain shortage ending. The economy's improving. I see- now, I just looked just now, I'll tell you the stock market's up again. Yeah, I, I knew it would be. That was just yeah. a very glitch. I got a lot of people afraid, you know, Linda's blah, blah, but I, I just, I got the 2008 crash. I could feel it in my bones and I'm not a stock market person, but I felt the crash coming and I warned people. And I would tell you guys if I thought, oh, no, I'm feeling it again. I felt the crash with Trump, too, because of the, but I knew it would rally. OK, right. that's what I'm feeling here. I had predicted that 2008 crash, but I was a year off. I thought it would happen the year before. And boy, right. like I'll never forget. I was reading this little old lady. I had a lot of money in stock. Honey, do you think I should 
uh, take my money out of stock. And that's when I got the hit. And I said, oh, God, yes, take your money out of stock. Fortunately, she listened to me. I wouldn't have listened to me. But anyway, so she took it all out. And, you know, it's funny. I had borrowed money on my townhouse to uh, put a down payment on my office condo. And my townhouse appraised at almost 400000 which, you know, is decent. The next year, my townhouse after the crash wasn't even worth 100000 Wow, I know. I was reading a lady yesterday. She said she could pick up uh, a townhouse for $25,000 where she I lived. just sat on it, though, because I knew it would come back up. It would take a while. And But um, anyway, okay, this is good. Judy, hello and love to all. Love to you too, Judy. What is the outcome for Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton refusing to comply with the January 6th committee subpoena? <laughs> yeah, he's going to be in trouble. He's going to, I think they're going to send it off to the Attorney General for indictment. Yeah. Oh, I would love, oh, I'm just so glad he's going to. And I'll be glad when Merrick Garland finally starts getting these people. Now, I heard Meadows is a little more difficult. Well, Meadows can't say executive privilege anymore. Because right. the Supreme Court has already said Trump can't use that. Okay. And so he, you know, it might be a little more sticky, but Merrick Garland's going to make sure he's got cause to indict. And I see Meadows indicted. Yeah, me too. Okay, this is a good one. Petra. I like that name, Petra. Petra yeah, B. That's pretty. That was my great grandmother's name. Petra. What is Ivanka? Oh, she's around you, by the way. I just saw her behind you when you said that. Oh, my grandmother, my great grandmother? Yeah, Petra. She was she was very small. My mom used to saw a picture of her in the coffin. Yeah, she died at 23 years old of tuberculosis. I was just gonna say what was going on with her lungs, and I heard concern. And and she was wearing full native, and her hair had was long braids. Yep, I can see. She her. was only like 23. Wow. She when you said that, I'm thinking she's right there. Okay, Petra, this is good. What is Ivanka Trump's relationship with her mother Ivana? Does she approve of her corrupt practices? In other words, does Ivana approve of Ivanka? <laughs> she feels bad for her daughter. Yeah, but you know what? Ivana is not a is not a rosebud either. <laughs> no, but she feels bad for her daughter because she's angry at Trump exactly. for for making all these kids pay like this because of what he decides. Right. Okay. You know, for a minute there, she was acting like she was going to help. She said, actually, I'm the first lady. She <laughs> was going to she was going to help him. Trump when he was office and that got cut real quick. Oh, she can't stand Melania. We got time for two more or just one more. It's up to you. Well, you, you two more. That's cool. OK, CC. Hi, Mel and Linda. I would like to know what will happen to Jenny Thomas. <laughs> Oh, she's going down too. She is going and down. And you know what? I can see that she knows. I see Thomas acting like whatever. He really does. He's as flat as a board. He, there's nothing there. But I see her kind of panicking. Oh, she, she knows something's coming up. She, um, well, I mean, she was a staunch Trump supporter. And yeah, a lot but of she's Trump. also part of that whole QAnon and she helped pay for those buses. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's going to, I mean, I see an in, uh, investigation all around her, and I see legal papers around, papers around her, too. And I see Justice Roberts already worried about this. Yeah, he is. And I think he might have already talked to Thomas. Um, he can't do anything about Thomas, but I can see him telling Thomas his concerns. I think a couple of justices have, justices have talked to Clarence Thomas. Do you think uh, the guy that's leaving, what's his name? I think he's talked to Thomas. He has. I see that. Okay. I see him. Going I think he said, that. dude, I'm going to tell you right now, this isn't looking good for you. Not good. And I think it's one thing to have a conservative opinion. It's another thing to be part of an insurrection. And when your wife is like lobbying for stuff and yet one of those cases or a lot of them come to the court and you don't recuse yourself here no, again, and neither did baxter amy baxter she didn't recuse herself with her husband's stuff that's right i think that some of those justices at least a couple of them are going to probably indicate to him you should probably just retire before you know well here's the thing they have no book of rules the supreme court can do what they want they have no book of rules or morality. 
Right. But still, they can't, but still, they're not above the law. You don't even have to work as a lawyer to become a justice. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Uh, my friend Sue that does her show, Sue Lynn, she looked it up. She said, I looked for the qualification. You don't have to be just like you don't have to, you know, that's how Bopart got in. Right. She didn't even graduate from high school, right? I don't think so. Well, you don't have to be a lawyer to be president either. No. Okay. Um, Okay, let me take a look here. Okay, this is a good one. Sue MP, will services regarding immigrant visas start to be handled more quickly or more money put into better service in this area? Well, they need to. Yeah. Um, I see them expedited, I really do. Okay, one more, uh, Celadon, I think. Would you please look at South Dakota's Governor Christy Noam's political future. She has oh my gosh, she's following footsteps. <laughs> she's so pretty and she's so ugly inside. I know. But ugly. I don't see her really doing much. I mean, me neither. Well, when this whole Trump thing starts collapsing, you'll see a lot of these people collapse. She can maybe try to run for the Senate or the House, but that's about it. I mean, I just. Uh, you're right. I mean, a lot of these people like the Marjorie Taylor Greens and Matt Gates is going to go to jail. He's oh, yeah. already. So that's all going to start clapping. And listen, I heard that the reason this took so long with Matt Gates, somebody within the department leaked, was because that guy was hard to pin down, the friend that gave out the info. Right. But they had to have corrobor corroborating evidence to match what he was saying, and they got it. Wow. So yeah, Matt Gates is going down. Yeah, I think so too. I see that. I've seen you said you and I have said that all along. <laughs> yeah, he reminds me of that guy Beavis and Butthead, you know, with that hair. <laughs> yeah. I used to love them. Well, my friend, I love you. I love you too. Uh Tuesday, we were gonna talk, right? Tuesday night about uh, Sedona. Yeah. Is that, yeah. Is that, that's five your time. Huh? It's five o'clock your time. Oh, I thought you said five year time. I'm like, huh? Five years from now? No, five o'clock your time. Five o'clock my time, which would be eight o'clock your time. Seven o'clock my time. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, you're in Chicago. <laughs> All right, sweetie. All right, uh, honey. You take care. I love you. Uh, stay well. And um, I want to watch your cooking show. Okay. Well, I'm going to get to it now. All right, darling. Bye, baby. Bye-bye.